Hello everybody, this is another episode of Max One on One. Today I'm here with my friend Bob D. Hey, and Max. With... How you doing, Max? How you doing, Bob? And oh, with... I'm great. What a great day, Max. Perfect. Yeah, right? Yes. Tell me all about it. Well, I released the uh, new EP today on uh, AMG Sony Records. Uh, awesome. It's called Stun Gun, and uh, it just went through the roof. My phone has not stopped ringing all day. And... Awesome, man. Yeah, what a great feeling, mm -hmm. right? I worked so hard on this record, so hard, and I'm so happy. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm I... talking to you, man. I, this is great. I got my Kiss poster in the back, and you got your Kiss <laughs> Yeah, right. I can't believe that we are both Kiss fans. That's awesome. So that oh, we started to be, you know, as soon as we started talking, they said, are you a Kiss fan? I'm a Kiss fan. <laughs> we are best friends. <laughs> I love it, right? Yeah, yeah that's it's cool. amazing. Real so cool, let's talk a, a little bit about the new EP. So you have six songs and you can find this uh, EP on all the streaming uh, uh, platforms and also some people are requesting the CD, so you, you, you have the CD format as well, correct? Oh uh, yes, you have the CD format too. And the t-shirts are on their way. The t-shirts have been ordered. They were supposed to be here by the 14th, but we will be here this week. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Let, 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 let's talk about a little bit about the songs. Of, of first, you know what? I want to start talking about the previous album, because I want to create a little bit of expectation. You know, I want people to, yeah, yeah. to say, oh, Come on, put the song already, you know. We have a couple of songs that we're going to share. I know Bobby, Bob, Bob was kind enough, you know, to share it with us. And to, so tonight we're going to listen to a couple of songs. But first, let's go to the previous album, the one that you released in 2018. Right. Um, so Killstar, right? So Killstar yeah. had like uh, eight, ten songs. How, how many songs did it have? Like ten, yeah. 10 right? Yeah, it had ten songs. And I did the cover of Wild Horses on there. Okay. Uh, yeah, it just took off. Um, what a great, great vibe on that song. Yeah, man. The single so on that album was Fight, and uh, the story behind the song Fight is uh, that the last day, we went through months of just recording. I do think I did like 22 songs. Yeah. And I could not get that single that I wanted. The last day I sat in the um, office, put all the sheets of paper. I had the chorus. I didn't even have the second verse yet. Okay. And boom, I, I went into the studio and I told my guy, Brian, I'm like, this is what I got. And he's like, I love the chorus. So we recorded awesome, the chorus. Awesome. And then I did the first verse and then we, we wrote it right on the spot, the second verse. Awesome. And then it just came out. That was the single. So what, what, what is the, the lyric about? It's like, I, I mean, I, I know about it, but tell me a little bit so people can know who, who hasn't heard the, who haven't it's heard It's about it. working a nine to five job. Wow. I'm not going to be a nine to five man. Wow. You know, it's like living your life. You're getting beaten down every day and. It just feels like the grind just kept coming at me, coming at me, and and I just wrote fight, you know. Yeah, let's listen a little bit. So, can you can you hear it? Sure. Can you hear it? Not yet. Can you hear it now? No. no. Uh, sorry, that's sorry. my bad, man. My, my my bad because I, I for some reason I have a pro, uh, technical issue. That's alright. Yeah, Very all right. cool song. Now now when we're listening to fight. Very good cool song. So then, then you went uh, like uh, you have a never stand in line, uh, breakdown, strange girl. Right. Which one is your favorite one of all of them? Or, or, uh, or, fight live. We uh, played the whiskey a go go last year. Oh uh, really? Oh yeah, we did a tour with Enough Is Enough. Very cool. We, we oh, uh, Chips man. Nuff was... and company. Yeah, they were great. I used some really cool musicians out there. Uh, Ronnie North on guitar. Nice. And I used this band out there, and uh, Lisa Sanchez on bass, and Jason yeah. so on guitar. And uh, a friend, um, a girl that, um, the real good friend of mine, Allison Mason. Yeah. With MBM Productions, she set the whole tour up out there, and we got to ah. play Whiskey a Go Go, and I was like so happy with that. Wow! We have, I, I went over like really killed. The whole crowd was going at it, and then we do Strange Girl too. Oh, so nice, 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 good, nice. Good song live, and we jam in the middle. And 
Nice. Hey, I, and then you all went to eat at the Rainbow, like the, the classic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, you know, goes after the, the whiskey, you know, or everybody who's uh, hanging out there, they, they end up eating, uh, having a couple of drinks at the Rainbow. Classic, yeah. classic of uh, L.A., man. Yeah, so awesome. That. Uh, what to pick another song from this album before we're gonna uh, we're going to listen to the new one. All uh, right, Strange one you... Girl is a really great, cool song. It's got a good vibe. Strange Girl. Yeah, let's go with that one because you know I'm confused with uh, Midnight Dancer. I don't know why this song. You know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. Now it's playing. Strange Girl. Yeah. Yeah, a good vibe. This is inspired on what? Yeah, it's cool, right? It's yeah. about a dancer. <laughs> a dan ah, like the midnight dancer. Yeah, That's what I was talking about, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I love it. I love the song. Man. This is amazing. I like the color. Yeah. When you shake your hips, you're like a mop to a plane. Where can I buy this uh, record? Is this in all the... Uh, yeah, it's on streaming? Spotify and uh, iTunes, Amazon, Spotify. Cool. All of them, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I, this is a record that everybody who likes hard rock I, and uh, has to have. And um, talking about, you know, comparing, I wanted to compare, you know, this record to the new EP. Right. Because uh, I find it, I don't know if... I, Correct me if I'm wrong, right? So this is my perspective. All right. I feel that the new EP, and I was listening to the new EP all day, you know, since the morning, I, you know, I put it in my car, yeah. and then, you know, I put it in my headset all day, over and over and over again. And I, I find two things that one is very common from New York bands, which is that little touch of punk rock. Send me to hell if you want to. But I hear uh, some, cool. I don't know where, I don't know where it is, but I hear a, a, some here and there of punk rock. And the other thing I hear, in the new EP, right, like a stun gun versus uh, the kill star, I find a little bit more of like a British sound. I, and I don't know why also, but, you know, this is after listening to the EP over and over and over again. These are two things that I, that probably I, I can rescue or, you know, that probably it's very technical and very difficult to 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 you know perceive from the record but right. tell me tell me what are the influences and uh, for, for this record and and your inspiration and if i'm a little bit right on what uh what i was just saying I'm yeah just... you are right um when i came back from la i wrote all the songs on the plane i had oh, such nice. inspiration playing out there it was all total rock and roll and uh mm -hmm. i just wanted to do guitars again that was my thing i just wanted to get in the studio and record guitars so I usually like to go to the UK and play. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There you go. Yeah, and do a tours, but I canceled all that stuff. And I said, I'm just going to go in the studio all summer and pull out all my old vintage guitars. And I went to a studio in upstate New York with a couple friends of mine. Kelly Yako was on drums. Okay. He's a good friend of mine up there. And uh, Scott Henderson on uh, bass guitar. Okay. And we just got in this room. I gave him the songs, and we just clicked, and it just we got a great guitar sound. And it was that's what that's what was different from the last record because in uh, in New York I used my New York band. Yeah. Um, to do the Kill Star, and then um, I went upstate New York, stayed at my parents, <laughs> ate a lot of food, <laughs> and I recorded this one. But yeah, there is a lot of UK influence on that. There you go, man. There you go. I, I, you know. We actually uh, toured over there with Chris Holmes, uh, ex Wasp guitar player. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Tell me a little bit about the members of uh, the Petro band, right? So Bob D right. the, with the pet with Petro, sorry. So tell me about the other guys. You're right. Uh, so I've been playing with T.J. Jordan. Uh, he's my guitar player for like 10 years. He's he's my my, my guy. Um, he's been my guy forever. And uh, oh. Scott Campbell is on drums. And the great thing about Scott is we always record everything to a click track. And then Scott comes in afterwards and just nails it. Very cool. He just like, oh, he's a one take guy, you know. Very cool, man. And then uh, Allison Jones is back. She's our bass player. Okay. How, how did you get in touch with them? How did you find out about these musicians in order to recruit them for your band? Uh, is something that somebody recommended or, 
you know, you put a, an ad on the newspaper or it's something that you, yeah, right. you that, I'm just kidding, but uh, you know, like uh, you knew them and say, I have to have this guy because I've been following this musician uh, for a long time. I want him in my band. Right. Um, I knew uh, TJ for years. We were always been friends. Uh, he had a band called Scarecrow. Nice. Uh, they, they were at a uh, red light. Um, I think they did a UK tour and stuff. And uh, so I've known TJ for years and I've always wanted to play with him. And finally we got together. And then Scott came through, the drummer, through a studio owner. Um, and then Allison's been uh, my friend for years, and um, she, she's been playing with me. And, um, and she, she has this, such a great sound. Uh, we're releasing the video on Saturday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to uh, actually... This down. Is, yeah, we have to clarify to the fans out there that this is part one of an interview. Yeah. Part two is coming when the video is released. So we're yes. going to talk about the video, you know, just exclusively about the video. Today we are... Talking about only the EP, man. That we, yes, we are. Yes. Uh, by the way, you put six songs out there. So, Monkey on My Back, th this is the song that we are just right now. Right. And uh, then we have uh, Midnight Dancer, that for some reason today, you know, uh, I don't know New York, but here in Washington, D.C., uh, yeah. it was a rainy day, you know, like ugly, you know, like, you know, I was down, a little bit down, so I put midnight dancer and uh yeah oh cool. that kind of you know fit with the mood of a day and uh, i say oh this is my song tomorrow you know i might pick a different song from the ep uh, but uh that was my song of a day what what so midnight dancer has a link with the other one the the star girl right the strange, strange girl. girl yeah strange girl. it's like i meet a lot of girls <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's I'm rock new york and roll. city you know you eat all the, the girls and uh, new york city and rock and roll yeah. man that's all yeah, about it. so, it's I, great I, I love living here it, it's such a cool vibe you know yeah. i'm in my office now in queens new york oh nice Got the kiss poster, but yeah, uh, I, yeah. So got a really cool vibe, right? I wanted yeah, to. Yeah, just... no, I love it. I love it. I also, actually, you know, you know, you know, it was very cool to, you know, was driving and I put that song, you know, and uh, it was like all, you know, like relax and you know, and listening because it's not. Uh, it, it, will you mind if I put just a couple of seconds? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Play. Let, play let's do it, first. man. Because uh, I think it's um, you know, it goes with my vibe today. Let me let me mute this one and I... yeah. All right, the rainy day vibe. <laughs> there you go. So now I'm sorry that for some reason I have technical issues. Yeah, nah, it's fine. Now now we're listening the first course, you know, and the, the first uh, paragraph of. Uh, Very cool. What a song, man. What a oh, song. Nice. Let yeah. me tell to the fans, fans there, rock and roll yeah. fans out there, if you have Spotify or any uh, platform, just go and add this EP to your playlist right now. Yes. Today is a rainy day in, on the East Coast, you know, and, and also, you know, Midnight Dancer, you know, it's totally, so if there's a link with the, I have to read the, the uh, Tell me the, the star dancer, what is it called, the other song? Oh, uh, Strange Girl. Strange Girl. Oh, All yeah. right. Strange Girl is upbeat, you know, like more rock, dirty rock and roll. And this is, you know, more like uh, melancholic, black, you right? know, down, yeah. you know, like I, I miss you. you know, <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, yeah. It's cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> but they, there's a link in the concept, but the, the songs are totally, you know, uh, different, mm -hmm. you know, like night, night and day. Yeah. So what? What's your favorite Great. song? Playing. Oh, that's perfect, right? Yeah. What, yeah. What's your favorite song? Uh, if you had to pick one, or which one is the one that you are more attached to? Um. Well, down is the one we did the video for. Down is I down. did. I just got the great, a cool guitar sound on that one. Yeah, I love that song too, man. I, I just put it a couple of seconds now. Yeah, and the lyrics too. Um. Very cool. The intro is amazing. Yeah, it's cool. Now you start like a rap pick there. Right? Yeah, like all right, track. yeah.
way you can't see what you're talking about. Can you say a little prayer yeah. to take away the pain? And now, one, two. I'm going down. Yeah. <laughs> Song, man. Congratulations. Oh, thank what you, man. Thanks. Thanks, Max. <laughs> wow. Amazing song, man. I, lo I love it, you know, from yeah, one end to the you. other. That, that, great, great job there. Uh, and that, thank you. And that's fun to play. It's one of those fun songs, you know. It's like so cool. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Bob, do you have any dates coming up soon? Um, coming up, yes. I have a couple of days coming up, and I can't really say until it's like totally for sure. Okay, no problem. But part, um, part two of the interview, we, we announce it. Okay? I can actually, yeah, I, I will be able to announce it by the, the interview. I will. Awesome. awesome. I just got a confirmation today, but they told me to hold until. That's fine. <laughs> That's totally fine. Well, I'm here with Bob D, everybody. All right. Bob D with Petro presenting the Stunt Gun. Why, why Stunt Gun? Why do you choose that, that title? I, I just, uh, it's funny, it just the songs were just hit me, right? We were cranking them in the studio, like Monkey on Your Back. And, yeah. And I, when the disc was hitting me, I was like, wow, stun gun. I'm like, stun. <laughs> awesome, awesome. But I have something really cool. We're going to start, I just got the prototype today of mini stun guns. Check okay. that out. Uh, let me see. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. That, that's and like Bob D. Oh, uh, very cool. Yeah, prototype right here. That's like Kiss, uh, Love Gun, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, for J Japan, all my Japanese fans, they love uh, stuff like this. Yeah, 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 absolutely. We're going to uh, mark it in a little, uh, one of those little file things you see in. Uh, a little bit, a little bit about, uh, the, what is that? You know, when you get in the gumball machine? Oh, nice, 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 nice. We're nice. going to mark it, it's going to go inside there. And very cool, very cool. A little tag on it, with the Alibide album. But yeah, I just got the prototype today. These are coming up for the fans. Awesome. Tell me your website and the social uh, uh, media that uh, I can reach you and get more information about you and your band, of course. Right. It's uh, www.bobdwithpetro.com. Okay. And on Facebook, it's just uh, Bob D. Bob D. Um, and you can be, yeah, everything's like Bob D. with Petro. I'm uh, even uh, YouTube and Instagram and Excellent, Bob. Anything that you want to say to the fans, and uh, I'll let you go, buddy. I know you're uh, busy. I just it's been want to say thank you, Max, for a great interview. We we uh, clicked right away talking about Kiss, right? Yeah, <laughs> we're best friends. <laughs> yeah, we are. Thank you, and no. thank you to fans today. You made my my. Uh, it's one of my happiest days. Oh um, my God! Congratulations. Congratulations you. again for the EP. You know, uh, I recommend this EP to everybody who loves rock and roll, New York rock and roll, you know, British rock and roll. You know. Uh, uh, you have to go to the, you know, buy the CD if you like the old, you know, school and get it in your playlist if you have, you know, whatever uh, platform for streaming, you know, because I, this is, I highly recommend this AP. Bob right. D, thanks again, brother. All I'll right, talk brother. To you soon. I'll see you, Max. Thanks. All right. Thanks, everybody. I see you again in another episode of Max 101. Take care, everybody. See ya. Peace.